Oh, it's prime time, all right. Prime time? Hey, what's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Unique Toys Challenger. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So at the front here, we have a nice image of Challenger. His name is Challenger. On this side of the box, we have Challenger. On the other side of the box, Challenger. On the top of the box, Challenger on the bottom of the box, Challenger and things and stuff. And on the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, this, that, the other things and stuff. And that's basically it for the packaging. Also included is a collector's card with a nice image there of Challenger, aka Optimus Prime. And on the back, you have some text specs. If that interests you, hooray for carts. Then moving right along, here we have Challenger, and this is Unique Toys' take on the last night, Optimus Prime. And um, I have been very much looking forward to this figure, as I know you guys have, because you guys have been asking me about this for months now. But it's finally here! It's finally here. Um, He's not perfect, but I already like him way more than I liked El Cid, so I can already tell you this guy wins, because he's actually fun! Um, <laughs> This guy's actually enjoyable to mess with. It's not a nightmare, and that already makes him a winner in my book. But here he is in his truck mode, and let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. You can see some nice silver chrome right up front there for the front grille. Uh, it would have been nice if it extended outward to these side pieces. These are just done in silver paint. would have been nice if that chrome extended all the way out, but oh well, it is what it is. Not the end of the world. Yeah, some transparent plastic there for the... Headlights. You also have that silver chrome above the front windshield. Uh, one little issue I have with mine is I can never get this section here to stay flush together. I always have a little bit of a gap there, but it's okay. Not a deal breaker. You got some bits picked out in silver right there. You can see the side windows also have some nice silver trim. Uh, another issue is the red paint is not great on this figure. Could have used a second coat because you can see in some spots, you can see the blue just kind of bleeding through in spots. Especially on these little side pieces here, you can kind of see that blue just bleeding through. So yeah, that red could have used maybe a second coat. But oh well, it is what it is. But the flame work does look quite nice on the truck mode. And again, lots of nice silver going down the sides there, right down here. Again, you got some more chrome for the rims. Back here, you got the smokestacks. You got the trailer hitch here, which is on a hinge, just like on a real truck. Yay! Anyway, you got some silver there. And you got the taillights. And there's the bottom. There's the top. It rolls. As rolling things should, hooray for rolling, it does roll nice and smooth like. So, there you go. Now for comparison, here he is with the Masterpiece movie, Optimus Prime. So you can see how that works out. Here he is with MP10. So you can see how they look side by side. Here he is with Unique Toys Peru Kill. They're locked down, so you can see how their two movie bots look together. So there you have that. Here he is with the Leader Class Age of Extinction Optimus Prime, the Takara version. So you can see how that works out. Here it is with the Voyager last night Optimus Prime. Just because. And here it is with the notorious El Cid. So you can see how these two look next to one another. He just doesn't want to stay together at all anymore. The wheels just, that just wants to do whatever it wants to do. Yeah, he, he wins. I, he wins. I don't care what anybody says. He wins. <laughs> In my book anyway. But there you have those two side by side. You can see how that works out. 
Now, just to answer a question I'm sure some will have, can he tow MP10's trailer? Um, yes, but I think it's more coincidence than intent. Um, this section right here, like there's nowhere for this to actually tab in, but this section here will just kind of drop into this opening right here. So, you know, it just drops in there and you know, he can, he, he can pull it. He can pull it, but again, I think that's more happy accident than actual intent, but you know, hey, it, it, it can, it can. So now let's talk about accessories. So the first thing you get here is his shield, which looks quite nice in my opinion. You got the nice flame design there. You got some nice gold paint, some nice glossy red as well. Nice detail going on. And there's the back. And just for comparison, here it is with El Cid's shield. Just so you can see how they look together. You can see Challenger shield is a bit bigger. So you got that. You also do get, of course, his sword, which is very nicely done. Lots of nice detail there on the blade, as you can see. Looks quite, quite nice. Again, you got the nice metallic red and blue. Got a little bit of overspray there on that little spot. That's okay. Overall, very nicely done. And again, just for comparison, here it is with El Cid's sword. And El Cid's sword is a bit longer, as you can see. So, there you have the two swords. He also does come with his hand blade here, which is just done in that gunmetal gray. Some little details going on. And you can store all of this on the truck mode. Uh, you take this blade and this will just tab in right back here. And you can open up the shield like so and flip out this section right here. And you can see the gun barrels there as well. Flip up this section, close it back up, and that is the sheath for your sword. That just slides right in there. And you can take all this, and in typical Optimus Prime fashion, it all attaches to the back of the truck here on the trailer hitch. And you just plug that in, and there you go. There's your weapon storage, which as always is ridiculous, but hey, it's some place to put the stuff if you want to put the stuff somewhere. There are other accessories, but that's more for robot mode, and we'll get to that when we get to robot mode. Uh, one other little feature here in the truck mode is that it does have uh, opening doors, and the doors are not really that easy to get into. I usually need a little blade to get in there. There you go. You can open up his doors. There's nothing in there to speak of, but hey, it's still cool. That's, you know, if you want. You can just open up the doors. So, hey. It's a neat little added bonus there. So why not? Dare I say, why not? So that is basically it for the truck mode. Now let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So we're just going to come back here first and just unclip this rear section here. We're just two little tabs that just go into these notches right back here. And once we do that, we can, well, I need to raise the camera up, so I have some room to operate. And we're going to come to the front grill. You're just going to take this and splits this down the middle and just untab this section and then untab this section. And all this will just swing back. So just untab, untab, bring all of that back like so. We can take all of this here, just kind of raise that up. This section here will just flip in, and you just slide all that in. We'll just bring that up just to keep that out of our way for now. And then we're going to come to the underside here. You want to take the hip skirt pieces and just fold them down like that. And then you can split the legs, which hold together quite securely. There we go. Undo the legs. And now we can finish transforming the legs. Let's come down here. So you just want to take this panel, flip that in. You then want to take 
this section right here, just bring that up and untab it, and this will just swing around like so. Once you do that, this whole assembly right here will just rotate up. You can then flip down the foot, take this section here, and rotate it around like so. Then you take the front grille, just bring it in, rotate it in, and it will sit right under the foot like that. And once you do that, all this will just accordion up like so. And once you do that, there's a tab that'll just go right up in here. So just tab that section in, open up this panel, and all of this will now just swing in like so. And these two tabs will plug into the two slots to lock that in place. And this will just tab in right there. And there you have a leg all done. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Second bus, same as the first. So we just put that in, untap that, swing it around, rotate that up, foot, rotate that around, bring that in, swing it in, bring it up under the foot, collapse all this up. Like so, we can open that up, tab that in, swing all this in, tab that panel on the side there, tab that in, and they have the legs all done. So now at this point, I need to raise up a little bit more. <laughs> the hips are on a joint here that collapse down, so you just bring them up, bring them up, and you can just swing the legs around. Like so, and at this point, this whole assembly, you can straighten out, and that will just lock in right there on a secure tab. And now we have kind of a, kind of a gir truck going on there. But there we go. Let me just try to get them situated here so I can move the camera again. I gotta move the camera. I gotta move the camera. Fine, you fall while I move the camera. Anyway. So now we're gonna come to this front section here. Now we're going to split all this right down the middle and open all of this up. You wanna take these sections here and bring them down because if not, they'll collide with the smokestack. So bring that down and you can swing that out. And then just untab all this, bring that section down, and you can just swing this all out, and you can see all of Prime just kind of hiding in there. So, what are we going to do now? Ah, we'll do this part now. So we'll bring this piece down. You want to take this section here and just swing it around. You want to bring this panel with the head up. These sections here will just collapse inward like that. And then you kind of get this out of the way. Just bring that down. And just bring that up for now. And that will sit like that while we work on things back here. These sections here are the smokestacks. You just take them and rotate them in. Like so. And now we can start working on the arms. So you can take the windshield section here. And this will focus camera. Hey, take the windshield section and just take that and just swing that over like so. You want to untab the arm from that panel right there. And we can get the arms mostly transformed right now. So you just want to take the shoulder pad section here, just swing that out. You want to bring this whole assembly up, swing the arm in, which will bring this out. And that'll just lock in there. This will come up, tab in right up there, and we can just bring the arm down, and we're gonna leave that alone for now. Do the same thing on the other side. Just swing that in, untab that, and then we just bring this up, swing all this around, tab that in, bring that up. Also bring this out, forgot to do that, there we go. And just bring the arm down, there we go. So now, what we're going to do here is we're going to collapse all of these panels here. So all this is just going to accordion in on itself. Make sure that this double hinge here gets squared up 
all nice and square like as it should and once you do that all this will just swing in make sure that, that windshield goes over uh, this section right here it just sits right in the center like that and just do the same thing on the other side just accordion all this in again make sure this double hinge squares up real nice like and just swing all this in again make sure that windshield just clears that section and bring all that in like so just get these into position then you just take the chest piece and bring that up just you gotta make sure that these are in the right spots so everything clears and oops. there we go you do that and now his pecs will just tab in right there like so on either side like that and then we can just bring his head down that just tabs in right there like that and we're at the home stretch now let's finish up uh, the arms here so what you're going to do with the arms is you're just going to rotate the arm at the bicep here you're going to take this section and untab it you're going to take the form and you're going to rotate it inward like so this section right here is spring loaded as you can see so you just want to compress that in and this tab will just sit in this little groove right here and this tab right here will just tab in right there so just compress that and push that all together tab it in there you have that then you just bring his hand down rotate it so everything's oriented properly and his little elbow piece here you just bring that down and then we can just take the shoulder pad and just bring that up and rotate it and get everything into place. And there you have an arm all done. Second boss, just like the fast. So we just rotate this around, untub, rotate that in, compress, tab, bring the hand down, rotate, bring that down, get the shoulder pad in place, get everything situated. And I think we're done. Are we done? Yes, we're done. We we're done. Just get his legs situated here. And there we have Challenger, aka Optimus Prime, in his robot mode. And that's a dang good looking Prime right there. Me likes. Me likes very much. Really dig this figure, really do. So let's get in close here so we can take a look at that head sculpt. Very nicely done head sculpt, in my opinion. Looks really good. Love the detail. Looks quite, quite nice. I like it. Got the nice flames there on the pecs. Got the nice gunmetal gray going with some gold. Got some bronze in there as well. Some gold there. You got the little wires hanging off of his legs, which is just done in a soft plastic. And the nice flame detail there on the forearms, as well as the shoulder pads. All that good flamey goodness. But yeah, see the shins nicely painted as well. Along with some more of that flamey goodness going on. The big old feet, got the nice metallic red going on. And moving up the back, as you can see, it's a really clean transformation. He has like no backpack. No backpack at all. That looks gorgeous. Looks gorgeous in my opinion. Now as far as articulation goes, he can look pretty far up. He can do total squirrel. He can do that. He can look down a good ways. Head can do a full 360. The arms can do a full 360 and these shoulder pieces will move out of the way to accommodate that, which is great. They, they're not going to pop off like they do on El Cid. They get out of the way and this part of the uh, shoulder pad is on a ball joint as well. So you can, you know, kind of have that angled however you wish. Uh, you do have bicep rotation and oh, we do have in and outward movement there on the shoulder. And again, that shoulder pad will move out of the way to accommodate. And that's on a nice ratchet. So again, we have bicep rotation. We have 
over 90 degrees of a bend there at the elbow. Uh, you do have wrist rotation there. You also have the transformation joints. If you need his hands to do that for any reason, they can do it. Uh, the hands are posable. You have just a hinge at the thumb, which allows the thumb to move up and down. You have a hinge there and a hinge there. The index finger is a separate piece. That is on three hinges right there, right there, and there. And the rest of the fingers are together, but they are on two hinges right there and right there. You can get a good point going on, if you wish. And it does have waist rotation as well as an ab crunch, which is pretty cool. Uh, his crotch piece here, his crotch plate, is on a hinge, so you can move that up, and these bits can swing outward if you want. Legs can move forwards that far, can move back that far, outward that far and as you can see the side skirt pieces are spring loaded and this section right here this is on a friction hinge but this bottom one is spring loaded so again that'll just move out of the way for you which is really nice and then just spring right back into place which is quite cool and you can shift the hip up shift it down if you need totally up to you what you want to do there you do have thigh rotation you have 90 degrees of bend at the knee, and the feet have ankle tilt, and that's pretty much it. They don't move up, they don't move down, they don't rotate. You do have a toe joint there due to transformation. So, not a lot of articulation in the feet. Now, as far as his weapons go, you can take all of this and you can store it on his back. It just plugs in right back here. You can just take that, plug it in. And just have everything stored on his back, which is quite nice. But he is a warrior, so he should be wielding his weapons. So we'll just pull out the sword. And we'll just remove the blade here. And we can just flip this back in, close it back up. And the shield just plugs in to his form right there. Oh, one other point of articulation I forgot to mention. You can untab the shoulder. So you can have his arm swinging in if you need. So you can actually have his arms crossed in front of his chest if you want as well. So that's an extra point of articulation there in the shoulders if you want to take advantage of it. But yeah, you can plug his shield there on his forearm. And of course you can give him his sword. And it's the typical tab in the slot in the palm method of holding weapons. And you just tab that in. And wrap his fingers around it, and he does hold that nice and secure like. So you can slash, 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 slash. And you can also take the little hand blade here, and that just tabs in right there on the top of his hand. And you can plug that there if you want. So you can have all of his weapons. And he is armed and ready for battle. So, hey, looks quite, quite nice. Now his noggin in particular does have some display options. It does have a light up feature. Uh, the battery compartment is right back here. You just undo that screw. It takes two LR521 batteries, which are not included. You will have to get those yourself, but you can get them cheap on Amazon. And the button is just right here on the side of his head. And you just push it and his eyes will light up a nice bright blue, which is quite nice. And you do also get an optional mouth plateless face, if you wish. And to swap out the face, you just have to just bring his head up and just kind of get under his chin here and just untab it like so. And ah, that's kind of just, ah, that's even more disturbing. But you just take the other face here and just dab it on. And you can have a mouth plateless prime, if you wish, with his glowing eyes. So hey, the thing you can do, if you want to do it. And another option is you can nemesis him up and you get a totally separate head for that. You can see with the red going down the side of the face. And it does have that light up feature as well. And these eyes glow in a nice purple. This looks very good, very evil. 
And you also get the option of mouth plates or no mouth plates with the Nemesis face going on there. And to swap the heads is simple. You just have to get up under here. You have to open up the whole chest, but there is a screw right there that you undo, pop off this head, pop on the new head, screw it back on, and you can Nemesis him up if you want to. So hey, it's an option, and as always, options are good. And the last thing to talk about are some bonus accessories that are included with this figure. The first thing is Merlin's staff. A little version of Merlin's staff anyway, just done in silver. It is die cast. Which is nicely done. You can see it's just a tiny, tiny little staff there, as you can see. So you get that. And you also get a big version of Merlin's staff done in that gunmetal gray plastic with some nice detail going on there and if you want prime can't hold that and he does hold it quite secure like so if you want you can give him merlin staff just wrap his fingers around that there you go you can have merlin staff if you want and the last accessory you get is uh, actually for their Peru kill for their lockdown. You get uh, Lockdown's blade right here, which is nicely done. And we'll show that off when we bring Lockdown in. So you get some little bonuses, which is quite nice. So there you have that. And now for comparison, here he is with MP10. So you can see how they look side by side there. Here he is with Masterpiece Movie, Optimus Prime, my knockoff version anyway. You can see how that looks. Here he is with Unique Toys Lockdown, Pedu Kill, whatever you want to call him. So you can see how they look side by side. And again, if you want to give him a little bonus knife, you can totally have him holding that. He holds that nice and secure like, or if you want, you can take it and plug it into his hand like that, as in hand blade. So, hey, things you can do if you want to do them, but there are those two side by side. Here he is with the Voyager last night, Optimus Prime. Here he is with the leader class, Age of Extinction, Optimus Prime, the Takara version. And here he is with the infamous El Cid. Stand. Don't lean on me. Don't. Mm. There you go. And as always, you know, it comes down to your personal tastes, your personal preferences. You know, if you like El Cid better, hey, that's fine. You're not wrong. You like what you like. But me personally, I like Challenger better. He's just overall a more enjoyable figure. He just works better. He works a lot more fluidly. El Cid, I will admit, is a lot prettier to look at because he has a lot of that nice shiny silver going on there. So he's, he's definitely prettier to look at, but this is definitely the more enjoyable toy to mess with. But for me, Challenger wins. He wins hands down. But, you know, that's just my personal opinion to each their own. So there you have Challenger. Um, I really like this figure. I think it's really well done. As I said at the top of the video, you know, not... Perfect. Um, the truck mode does have some spots where it could have used a second coat of paint. That front windshield section, for some reason on my copy anyway, doesn't like to stay together as flush as it's supposed to. So some minor flaws there with the truck mode. But um, overall, though, this figure is just really enjoyable to mess with. The transformation is nice and smooth and enjoyable. It doesn't fight you. It works with you. So again, gets two thumbs up just for that. And it looks great too, in my opinion anyway. I think it just, I think it looks fantastic. And much like with their lockdown, Unique Toys managed to pull off that black magic where once you get them into robot mode, you're legitimately asking, where did the truck go? Like the truck does pretty much vanish into the robot. So yeah, just very clever engineering. And, uh, you know, again, just clever, smooth engineering. Just overall, really cool, really well done figure. Feels good, feels solid, feels sturdy. So quality wise, definitely no complaints there. Very well done figure, I really like it. And everybody say goodbye to El Cid. You'll never see him again on this channel because after I'm done shooting this review, I'm getting rid of him. So say bye bye to El Cid, bye. This is the one I'm keeping. This is the one I'm keeping, so. 
<laughs> there you go. Now I picked this up from a TF Direct. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below. For all your other Transformers needs, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com. Also linked in the description down below. You can also check out my third-party Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Unique Toys Challenger, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek, be proud, palm in your face! Bumblebee! Bumblebee! Oh, there you are. How you doing? Listen, I'm uh, going to be sincere with you here. I, I miss your voice, old friend. I haven't heard it in what seems like forever. I mean, what's it going to take? Me being corrupted by some great evil and threatening to kill you? I mean, is that what it's going to take to hear your voice again? I mean, obviously you'll never come to that, you know, just, just saying. No, I don't know. I just wanted to get that off my chest. Hey, don't say that! Don't make me kill you! Nah, no, scrap. <laughs>